Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Dan with Barrel Blazing Barbells, and today we are doing a product review of something I've been using for quite a while, and I have several of their products, several of these items. Um, so we're going over uh, Backup Tacticals barrels. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Uh, backup tactical barrels. Now, first off, this one right here, I believe, is the first one I got. This is the uh, obviously their black one, uh, Glock 19. And I have to tell you guys, I absolutely love their barrels. Now, first off, if I can see if I can get to zoom here, if you look close, their uh, their logo is a B with kind of a crosshair with the uh, almost like the Punisher logo in the middle, and then T. So uh, backup tactical and then it's got that uh, logo in the middle there but i absolutely love the design it's very uh it's custom it's very nice looking you know all of his barrels are uh branded with it here's here's the green one on the 43 um so a couple things i did want to talk about on the barrels specifically is the fact that he has I believe four different color com or uh, color options. So obviously he has the black. Um, I'll go with this one. He's got the gold option. Got the OD green, and this one looks like it's got some pink on it. It's because um, this is the silver barrel, but because it's in the pink uh, pink frame there. With the Cerakote, it's just kind of rubbing a little bit. It's wearing in. This thing's brand new, like built. I, I shot it for the first time probably, I don't know, two weeks ago. It was over my birthday. It was the first time I actually put rounds through it. So um, everything's kind of breaking in. So ignore the pink that's in there. It's from wear and break in. But again, barrel combinations here. Uh, all the colors that are your, I don't want to say standards, but kind of the standard. Uh, the other thing that the barrels, you get options on your uh, thread protectors there. Now, obviously, this one is what they call, I believe, uh, like pineapple grenade or something like that. And it does come in all the colors, just like the barrels. He does have other options besides just, you know, another pattern, another color. He's got, uh, I know there's one that's like an American flag. He's got one that has like a Punisher um, symbol logo um, milled into it all the way around. He's got some really cool uh, different stuff. I personally have not gone, ventured too far into the uh, um, custom kind of look on those. I stick to the, you know, basic theme of the gun that I'm building, which, you know, this one obviously black gold FDE kind of look, um, you know, with my 320 here kind of sticking with that black and gold theme. So... I don't like theming per se a gun, but I build a gun with the intent of a, a final product looking a certain way. Um, you know, it's every gun that I build starts with like a blank slate. At least I try to do that. Start with a blank slate and then have the end product in mind and then build to the end product. So working on barrels, when you're looking at it, it's like, okay, what do I want the end product to look like? Well, I, I want it to look black with some gold, not crazy amount of gold, you know? And that's why, partially why I went with this this trigger here from uh, Tyrant CNC. It doesn't have a huge amount of gold in it. I didn't want to have like a gold compensator and a gold slide release and the, you know, gold gas pedal. I, I didn't want to go over the top. I wanted it to be kind of just a little bit of accents. And I feel like I kind of I nailed it on that. So um, as far as the barrels themselves, they come in obviously set up for a Glock 43, Glock 19. Uh, they do have Glock 17, which I have one that's in my uh, orange and uh, my orange and green one. He also carries 320 um, and he does compensator. So both of these are from Backup Tactical. Both of them are branded, as you can see on the front there. Now the 320 here, if you look close, she's got some, uh, she's got some color discoloration there. Uh, what was going on is uh, we took us to the range a couple weeks back, 
and we ran her pretty hard. Like I, I was, I was running it pretty aggressively and dude, the compensator just makes this thing money. Like just boom, boom, boom. And you're right on target. Like every time, every follow-up shot was right where I wanted this thing to be. So, um, I really, really like this 320 build like this, this whole setup with the slide, the compensator. Um, and I will tell you this, this 320 started as a standard compact 320, nothing fancy, no, no X frame, nothing. It was just a standard 320 and everything. I, I swapped out everything except for the slide in the, in the, uh, 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 fire control group, everything else I swapped out. So the frame, the trigger shoe, the compensator, the barrel, you know, all the stuff that's down here. I even had to check. Yeah. I had to buy new mags because it was originally a compact and the compact mags won't fit in this frame. So I even had to get new mags. Um, but I love the way it turned out. I will say I do want to change out the uh, mag release. While I don't dislike this one, I just want to, I just want to do a different one. That's, I just want to do it. So um, the 320, man, this thing, I got to tell you, I just love shooting this. I do wish, the one thing I wish is I had to cut for a uh, red dot on top. So that may come down the road. We'll see if I get to that. But back to the barrels um, and backup tactical. He also makes mag extensions and they've got a really nice logo on the bottom there. Let's see if I can get it to zoom. Get it to zoom. There we go. Ah, now that gives you a real good view of the, the logo in the middle there. But yeah, very, very nice um, and very easy to install. I was kind of surprised because some of these can be kind of complicated. Um, once you get your base plate off, you then compress your spring and the uh, there's that plastic, um, it's not a follower, but it's the piece that's on the bottom. I don't know what they actually call it, but you push those back down in, you slide the extension on, and then this hole right here, you drop a, uh, it's a, it's a screw, but it's got a unthreaded tip on it there. And that's what actually keeps it in place. And I was worried about it being a little sloppy, like with that like style of pin holding in place. And this thing is solid, like solid, like it is not moving at all. So I'm really, really impressed with how these turned out. I want to get a few more of these, um, pick them up. I want to try getting maybe a red one. I got something in the works with uh, some red and some blue and maybe some white. Um, I'm not sure on that color scheme yet, but I got a, I got a project. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, these are considered match grade and like I told you very nice I haven't had any issues and this one here I think I have well over a thousand rounds through it and have zero issues with it so Gunnar what do you think which one's your favorite I actually kind of like this one oh you like that one mm -hmm. you like the strike industries one with the gold barrel huh mm -hmm. what do you like about it bud I like how the color is in the scope. Oh, you like the optic up on top? Yeah. It's nice to have a red dot, huh? Yeah, I even like. Oh, the trigger with the little red in the middle? Mm -hmm. That's a that's a very nice Timney Alpha trigger, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I I also like this one. This is one of my favorite builds of, uh, as far as handguns go. This thing is very, fits very well in your hand, um, especially with the uh, flared magwell that it has. But again, had to go with the backup tactical barrel, you know, do a little accent with the black on the tip there. But yeah, I, I absolutely love their stuff. Um, I hope to be picking up a few more items from them here shortly. You saying hi? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, hopefully I'll be picking up a few more items. Like I said, uh, maybe some more Magwell extensions or uh, mag extensions and, um, who knows, maybe another compensator. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but, uh, go check them out on Instagram, um, at backup tactical, and uh, I know they have a YouTube channel, but I'll be honest, I don't know how much they post on YouTube. Um, I know I've tagged them a few times and some stuff, but I, I haven't really gone on their page to look directly to see how much they post on there. I know he posts a ton on his uh, um, Instagram daily posts, uh, kind of showing different, uh, different people's posts about their barrels and whatnot. Um, also, he does a lot with uh, like staccatos. He's got several and he runs them hard. 
Um, I seen posts that he had one that had like over 4,500 rounds through it and still running strong. So, um, yeah, go check them out. Hopefully this kind of gives you guys, uh, uh, you know, a new option. If you didn't know that backup tactical existed, they are out of Florida. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like the video and Gunnar, are you going to say bye? Bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit the like, stick around. I'll be doing more videos and uh, more content. I'm going on a hog hunting trip next week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a hog next week. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. As always, stay tuned, stay tactical. See and ya. me and Gunnar will see you guys next time. See ya.